All right, I'm over here at my community tab on my YouTube channel. And a couple of weeks ago, I posted this right here. I'm going to read this to you. Pray for Maui. This was, is devastating. As usual, all social media prophets missed it, but will no doubt try to come out and claim this tragedy with vague dribblings from past videos. All caps, watch it happen. Look at my first hashtag here. Hashtag Bullock making merchandise of dead people. And guess what? Uh, a little bit ago, Robin Bullock, well, he didn't disappoint. Let's take a look. And I saw a war in the Pacific. Uh, that's what I saw. We need to begin to pray against that. We need to begin to pray against it. I saw war and unrest in the West Bank, in Israel. And then I saw something that was really, it was really strange to me. I had to stop and look it up. I saw, this is what I saw, a, a Chernobyl-type fire incident. As, as a, a Chernobyl, if I'm saying it right, Taught fire incident. I saw that. Apocalyptic images from Hawaii, where wildfires have killed at least six people in Maui County. Violent and explosive wildfires have torn through the island of Maui, destroying homes and businesses. The fire. So now Robin posted this, and you heard what he said. And he wants all listeners to absolutely agree that this indeed was prophecy fulfilled concerning the fires in Maui. Now, did you hear what he said? Do you agree? What do you think? Now, I've taken the liberty to write down his exact words. So let's take a look at exactly what he said, and then you can de determine for yourself if indeed this is a prophecy having to do with the fires in Maui in Hawaii. All right, so read this with me. And I saw a war in the Pacific. That's what I saw. We need to begin to pray against that. We need to begin to pray against it. I saw a war and unrest in the West Bank in Israel. And then I saw something that was really, it was really strange to me. I had to stop and look it up. I saw, this is what I saw, as a Chernobyl-type fire incident as as a, a Chernobyl, if I'm saying it right, type fire incident. I saw that. All right, so now I want to ask you, as adult men and adult women, you who have functioning brains, and somehow you've made it through life without being hit by falling bags of hammers while walking under windows, do you think this was a prophecy fulfilled having to do with Maui? Because I'll tell you what, if you think that this was a prophecy fulfilled by Robin Bullock having to do with Maui, then you are willfully delusional and you do not care for the truth of Jesus Christ. Look at these words. He says, I saw a war in the Pacific, nothing to do with Maui. This has to do with a war in the Pacific. That's what I saw. I saw war and unrest in the West Bank of Israel. That's on the other side of the world. And then I saw something that was really, really strange to me. A Chernobyl-type fire incident. Friends, this is nothing like a Chernobyl explosion accident, which happened in Russia. Nothing like this at all. It is just tragic what Robin Bullock is doing. This man is a goofball buffoon, and he is evil. You know, Robin Bullock is one of the most evil men on social media. Right now in Maui, there are thousands suffering, while hundreds have died, and many more are still missing. People's lives are devastated, and they'll never be the same. And the only thing this gypsy can think of to do is to get on YouTube and spew a fake 
vague prophecy with the word fire in it and claim prophecy fulfilled. He does this with the express intent of building himself up to give him prophet cred. And he's bringing glory to himself at the expense of dead and suffering American people in order that he can dazzle his fans and get the money flowing in to him via donations. This man is evil. Just one verse comes to my mind when I think of Robin Bullock and his gypsy swindlers. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, Bullock has a history of merchandising tragedy. East Palestine, Ohio comes to mind. So this isn't the first time he's done this, but trust me when I tell you that this guy is only concerned with himself and his gypsies. He's there to shine the light upon himself, to glorify himself. And this is how he became a multimillionaire, by elevating himself, by getting people to believe this nonsense, these vague prophecies as though they were legit. And so he gets the money rolling in. But he doesn't help anybody. He doesn't help the poor people in Maui, even though he could. Again, this man is a multimillionaire, but he does not lift a finger unless it's to push the record button and to come out in acting mode in his theater, pretending to be a prophet of God. But God will deal with this man, lest he repent. Unbelievable. I want to ask you to please remember Maui in your prayers. Look at this guy. Nothing's getting done over there. Uh, these are our fellow American citizens, our brothers and sisters, and they're suffering terribly. And yes, there is much controversy. We know this, but right now I just want to ask you to remember to pray for our brothers and sisters, our fellow American citizens over there, that relief comes through from people that do have the ability and people that do care uh, because it's just an absolute tragedy what happened there. So please remember to pray for them in Jesus Christ's name.